A section of sidewalk torn up in a Detroit neighborhood left behind a gaping hole. And neighbors say this has been a problem for almost two yeah. years, and they're concerned because there's a school just down the street. So they called Help Me Hank to investigate because they couldn't get the issue resolved on their own. Our consumer investigator, Hank Winchester, live tonight. Hank, the good news is the repairs are finally getting underway. Hey, Devin, Kimberly, in fact, here's the great news tonight. The repairs have been completed just within the last 24 hours. We have ourselves a brand new sidewalk here at this intersection. In fact, just a few days ago, if I was standing right here, I'd be down in a big hole. And as you can imagine, it was a huge concern for people in the university district. It's a danger, it's exposed, it is a big problem in this otherwise very well kept Detroit neighborhood. This is like a year and a half. There's been like this a year and a half. Here in Detroit's University District, the homes are stunning, well kept, and this family focused area is filled with walkers, pets, and just down the road, a school with hundreds of children. Yet this clear and very present sidewalk danger just sits. It's hard to see, but there's a large hole here that's exposed. Anyone could fall in. And as you can imagine, it is a huge concern for the people that live nearby. Oh my God, it's extremely frustrating. Lance, a retired Detroit police officer, called me looking for help. He's been staring at this mess from his home across the street for almost two years. He's frustrated because he says he's called everyone he can think of, but nothing changes. We called the city, we called DTE. I know I've called it, I ended up calling you. I says, man, this is crazy. Lance is not alone. Mothers with babies, friends walking their dogs, all worried about what could happen here. Somebody falls in, <laughs> it collapses. Um, they did fix a lot of the sidewalks, but this one's just stayed here. I started making calls and learned that this corner and its issues have quite a history. In 2018, DTE stalled a new gas main in the area. Work was also done nearby and all the paving were told completed in 2019. But a short time later, DWSD started working on a catch basin problem. That repair was made, but the sidewalk wasn't. And as you can see, this has been a problem for so long, long weeds now surround the area. When they came out and did this, we are thinking, oh, they're going to fix this. Uh, no, here it is a year and a half later, they have not fixed it. If that hole were in my neighborhood, I'd be worried. I mean, there's a school right down the street, there's kids everywhere, and it, and it was exposed. Uh, I mean, something at least should have been done more to kind of uh, secure it until the repair was made. Yeah. Well, we put a, I, I believe we put barricades and cones around it. Um, I agree that we probably should have maintained that safety equipment around it a little bit better. I know the storms caused a lot of issues and may have delayed this job, but those really didn't roll in until, you know, later part of June, July. Why wasn't this repaired in April, May? Uh, prioritization. Um, catch patients are not the only thing that we have to deal with. Again, our system is about 100 years old. You know, the, the pandemic combined with the storms has been a real one-two gut punch for us. Those living here say they called several city departments and DTE looking for answers. But one of the most effective tools out there in order to get a quick reply from the city, the Improved Detroit app. Here you can share information and photos and you'll get a response usually within 48 hours. Back here in the neighborhood, the full repair has now finally been made. And we thank DWSD for helping us come to the rescue. Now, whether you use the Improved Detroit app, which I highly recommend, or you call a city department directly, it is essential that you provide key information. Let them know, for example, here that this hole was exposed, that there's a school down the street, many walkers in the neighborhood, you're more likely to get a faster reply. Now, I heard about this problem here in the University District from neighbors who called my tip line. If you have an issue or a problem you want me to investigate, there are many different ways you can get in touch with me directly and the Help Me Hank team. We're live here tonight in Detroit. Hank Winchester, Help Me Hank. We talk about the importance of that app all the time, don't we? Yeah. In, indeed, yep, and I know those neighbors are happy you got it. Yeah. You came to the rescue. Job right? well done. We'll let you get out of the rain there, <laughs> Hank, but a job well done once again. Yep. Thank you.